Cancerians, hello, 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 welcome to my channel and thank you so much. You know, you guys have been some of the biggest support I've been receiving on my channel, especially lately. So I want to let you know that I see it and that I appreciate it. Cancerians supporting Cancerians. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. And if it's your first time yet, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Adrian. I'm an intuitive healer, practice holistic wellness. If you're interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, there's a link down below in the description that you can check out um, for that. Also, if you want to know, you know, sort of what's happening, what's going on, because I also teach tarot, I teach Reiki, crystal healing, I've got some workshops sometimes. Um, you're more than welcome to click on the link down below to sign up to my newsletter. I send you like one newsletter, like every month or maybe every two months even. All right, so I'm not going to spam you. Um, and yeah, you know, if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to do that. Subscribe to the channel if you like. I've got a reading coming out for you every week. And then for all your beautiful souls that are supporting me, coming back, liking, subscribing, you know, commenting. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So um, this reading is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending. If you are cross-watchers, you're absolutely fine. You're absolutely welcome to watch. Just as I always say, be very careful that cross-watching doesn't trip you up. All right. Um, for this reading is for the one till the thirteenth of September, twenty twenty, for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. All right. It may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates in your heart and claim that for you. So we're going to follow up on your reading last month. We, in fact, when it comes to love, there's been quite good things happening there for you. And it's been speaking about, you know, love manifesting and all those type of things. And then in your love reading that I had just this weekend past, so that was your weekly reading, in your love reading, and I'm shuffling while I'm speaking to you, it was talking about, oh, sorry, let's put out how it came out. It was speaking about some of you having some backup plans. And those backup plans were not really serving you in the best positive way. So what I always recommend to people is when it comes to readings, you know, you may be interested in love, open to love, that sort of thing. But you want to sort of look at everything, you know. Don't just look at a love reading. Look at your life reading as well, which this is really is. Um, because everything affects everything else. These cards are just falling out. All right, and let's just get you a card for the overall energy cancer and then we see what the cards are saying what's in the cards for you hmm abundance 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 unfolding happening new starts new beginnings some of you are starting your families over there that's so beautiful they were the empress um beautiful new starts in life beautiful new resets mm, beautiful new love Okay, where you thought a situation was going to work. This one might be taking a bit of the longer sort of backburn, but very good, very good, very good unfolding there. You know, sometimes things take a little bit longer, but when you finally get it, you actually glad that you waited. And this is very much what it seems to be the case happening here for you at the moment. In your current situation, you've got the death card. So definite new start, new beginning, new level, new everything really. Out with the old, in with the new. Three of one, speaking about your ship being in the harbor, everything you want being right there. And nine of cups, emotional um, fulfillment, really expanding and going forward. Having the potential to go so much more. You go, you're really moving forward into so much light. And I know that for a lot of you, things haven't really been easy there for a while. You know, it's been a little bit crazy for cancer there for a while. But, um, those tables are turning. Right. In the recent past, you had the hanged man. You had the page of swords. And you had the eight of wands. So, yeah, there was a moment of, I suppose from a universal point, you can call it beautiful introspection. From a human point, it was quite something, you know, it was a bit of a rough ride over there. Um, but what was happening is that, you know, for, for many of you, you, you were... It's like you were beginning to recognize the light, you're moving towards the light. But it is that your hopes and your dreams and your desires and like your sort of ambitions and plans and everything that you wanted, it was so huge that in fact a lot of you placed yourself on the fast forward program over there. And um, so 
the light just sort of, you know, the light was shining, you were shining, it's like this powerful magnet that was being drawn to one another. And a lot of you had no choice but to, you know, find the quiet space. Things were overwhelming. You didn't really know well how to cope, many of you, you know. There with the with the page of swords and the eight of wands in the in the you know the energy leading up to where you are right now. You had to you had to really reevaluate everything. You had to reevaluate your choices and your options and your way of doing things because I feel some of you were feeling so kind of stuck that um that you you kind of stayed in that stuck space you'll be like it's too overwhelming it's too much i mean i i don't know i too i've been complaining there for a little while until i realized like yep yep, yep you're gonna have to do something about these things <laughs> okay so there was this many of you found this beautiful balance harmonious balance the light really inside of you that you even know you know that it was there and you're sort of currently in the process of becoming so you're sort of like on the brink, you're going, you're not 100% there, but you're really going into something amazing. And then going forward, there's the Ten of Swords, there is the Nine of Wands, and there is the Four of Cups. There is a little bit of a difficult period ahead of you. New. When I say that, what I mean is there are new challenges because you're moving into this incredible new space. Now, I don't want you to get nervous about that, all right? But you're moving into this incredible new space. Um, there's your, your path has become of such a nature that everything is changing. There's a lot of, um, if you look at it almost like an energetic sort of sense, there's a lot of fluctuation taking place. But it's fluctuating towards, you know... Uh, how do I put this? When I say fluctuating, I'm talking about the way that you're experiencing everything. So one day you're feeling completely on top of the world, and the other way you're like, oh my goodness, this is so much, I can't deal with this, all right? Um, and you, there is one thing there that is still holding you back. There is one emotional thing, attachment. There is something there that is holding you back, and it's coming out. And you may be in for a little bit of a shock, um, there were the, I don't know if I showed you this, Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the uh, Four of Cups. Sorry, the Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups. So, we're going to clarify, but I see you going into a period there. Again, I don't want you to be scared because I don't get funny feelings about it. But, um, where you sort of have to go with things on your own there for a while, all right? Might be feeling that there's a realignment that is taking place from the one space to the other. And it's a good thing that's taking place. It's just, you know, when anything in life is unfamiliar, or anything is new, and it's so, um, it's so incredibly new as the phase that you are going, there is a period of acclimatizing taking place. It's the same as with the Empress, as you look, which is the card that I'm going to clarify now, your overall energy. You know, there's a beautiful period of conception and then carrying the baby. And then before obviously experiencing the joy of having that beautiful human being here with us, there is the um, rather stressful period of birth that both the mother and the baby is going through. And for many of you, if you're saying that things are feeling then they could then the rocky you're going through that period okay clarifying for you oh, 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 oh. so clarifiers for you there for the empress are oh. so this energy has really got a lot of you spinning in circles we've got the, the tower the king of wands and the six of swords so it's feeling overwhelming it's for many of you it is very overwhelming you in the process of becoming it's a beautiful beautiful positive process that's taking place you know it i know it people who look at you they know it they can see it all right it's like that butterfly that comes out of the out of the cocoon you know it was a larva and now it's a cocoon and now it's being born and the experience is a little overwhelming but i feel that all of the universe really is looking at you at the moment um <clears throat> sorry and there is a very strong call because it feels so good, but there's a very strong call, Cancer, really, for you to to remain honest within the emotions. Now, when we say honest within the emotions, this is a beautiful process that's taking place. But for some of you, sometimes this process is going to feel overwhelming. So they're encouraging you to feel your feelings because, uh, um, and I've seen this in maybe like the last few weeks leading up to now 
that um and remember this is your 1 till 13 reading within the space of the September 2020 reading so you might want to go back and look at that as well and remember this is a general reading if you want to you can also get a personal reading but um this is what I'm picking up so I'm just giving you what I'm getting is that you are moving to this powerful space and you are asked to be very honest with your emotions now this obviously doesn't mean that it just doesn't give you a get out of you know jail free card to to be disrespectful towards anyone um you know but it's about if you're having a good day, have a great day, shine. If you're having a day where you're feeling like the whole world might be on your shoulders, instead of trying to push that feeling away and making it wrong, because that creates a clock inside of your mind, rather feel it and know that you are busy realigning to new ideas that might be feeling overwhelming now. And just because it's overwhelming now doesn't have to mean that it's a bad thing. Right. Let's clarify the hangman. man. The light came in and you recognized it. Oh. Something you don't want to face here. Yeah. Let's see. So clarifying the hangman in the recent past, you've got the five of pentacles, you've got the two of pentacles, and you have got the emperor. Stability in your experience of life. So the way that you were aligned towards the light, and no wonder that some of you are a little bit hesitant here, the, uh, I won't say the initial invitation to the light because we're always invited to the light. We are the light, the light is us. But the realization that we are sort of out of alignment with all the greatness and the true potential of who you are in your recent past, I feel that the realignment itself was there was nothing sexy about that experience it was overwhelming it was harrowing it was hard it it was like what's the point it it wasn't easy okay and so with the two of pentacles you realize somebody made you realize however it came about that you had to look at things in a different way you had to shift your mind um and you shifted your mind towards abundance which is beautiful page of swords it's always good to understand where we're coming from because when you understand how you got to the energetic pattern, then you understand where you're going forward. So the Page of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords and the World. There's lots of crying that took place here, lots of frustration, lots of anger, lots of madness, lots of deep sort of inside... Um, hurt and pain and fear and um, uncertainties and they were all coming out they were all coming out you know and for many of you it sort of took you into a very dark place but it's also when you were in that place that I felt that many of you realized that you didn't want to be in that place so you actually used that dark experience to find the light clarifying the eight of wands for you the eight of wands is clarified by the eight of swords the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles so yeah even before I saw the King and the Queen of Pentacles, just with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords there together already, it was telling me such a clear story. Come on, God. You see? Some of you didn't want to face that painful situation. That's why I'm not getting this Eight of Swords to want to pick up. And then the Eight of Wands went in reverse. Yeah, it, you, you just didn't want to. You didn't want to. You didn't want to. You didn't want to. But um, some of you realize that you had to do certain things to sort of get what you want to get. And it's like you found peace within the situation, but even joy, but there was still the feeling of sort of discontent, discomfort. Now, for many of you, the very powerful journey of the twin flame journey, the divine male, the divine feminine, and this is regardless of, um, you know, gender and sexual orientation, any of those things, the, the pull towards your... Your perfect life partner for those of you that were, you know, looking for love um, or for those of you that were in a relationship and still looking for love because you didn't have what you were looking for. That powerful process of attraction has started there. And so this lack, so the way that you wanted to feel and the lack that was you were experiencing, wanted love, didn't have love, you know. And you realize that is what you wanted, that is what you needed. You send out a very clear, very powerful, very strong message into the universe that that is what you want. And obviously remember that we had in the beginning of our reading with the Empress, it's becoming. Okay. For some of you, there might be 
um, a baby in the mix that seems a little bit unkind, okay? So with the current situation, the death and rebirth, so things are good at the moment. So you're in that very interesting space that sometimes just the Cancerian will get where you are doing really, really well. You're really, really happy. Well, I suppose everybody will kind of get that. But um, at the same token, things are wild. I'm going to get it from the bottom of the deck. So the death and the rebirth card. Love is coming, my people. Love is coming, love is coming, love is coming, and you know it. Page of Cups and Four of Swords. These are the clarifiers. Let's put them the way they came out. This Page of Cups is such a beautiful card to me. Um, and Ace of Swords. This is from the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, because for many of you, it was one of those situations, you know, where you knew the kind of love that you wanted, but for many of you, you felt that you were aiming too high. You know, you would be like, when pigs fly, this will happen. So you were aiming too high, and then some of you um, also, this is kind of where you kind of are at the moment as well, where you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to get that sort of love, what it is that I want to have. And so some of you decided that, you know what, I'm just going to be single for the rest of my life. I'm just going to be all on my own. I'm not going to worry about love. I'm just going to focus on my career. I'm just going to focus on myself. Um, and this thought pattern might have initially come across um, as a result of a bit of a pity party that you were throwing there for yourself. But um, it actually brought the light through the realization for many of you that you actually do want love and you feel sort of very unbalanced without it. All right. The three of wands. Let's clarify the three of wands. Oh, I had the same sort of, not the same, but something similar in the Gemini reading. So if you want to go and have a look at the Gemini reading, um, uh, the six of cups, the ten, sorry, the six of cups, the, the Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords, where something was growing. This is not a new situation. Somebody's holding out here. Either you or the other person, it can be both of you. There's a sense of uncertainty, so you may have tried, you know. Um, maybe you just knew each other before. Maybe you weren't in a relationship, you know. Um, but there's some sort of... This is not a stranger. I don't really feel that this is someone 100% new for your year, Cancer. Um, and you had a certain sort of idea about this person before. This is how they are. This is who they are. Um, this is never going to work. They're with someone else or they're on their own trip or whatever, whatever. And they and you don't know how to move sort of from that mind perspective to what seems to be sort of happening right now, you know. And... They are saying that it is, it's time for you to, the way that you sort of get yourself out of that sort of groove and that funk is by releasing the idea that you actually know everything. Okay. Um, you've changed, they've changed. Clarifying the Nine of Cups. And for the Nine of Cups, clarifying you've got the King of Cups, the Star, and the Four of the Wands. Beautiful. Actually, it's it's like this. I like to put it in the order that it comes out because that gives you the different message. So the reason, whether you consciously know this or not, whether you with someone or not, your soul knows that you're merging towards love, and this is powerful, powerful, powerful love. Your soul knows this. For any of you that maybe still were, you know, with like a previous situation, holding on to a serious person, you're like, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. And this is how this new love is actually coming through because you are releasing the connection, the expectation, the I know how this ends from the previous sort of situation. Now, where is this energy taking you? We are clarifying the Ten of Swords, first of all. Getting Judgment, the Fool, and the Page of Wands. So... Even though there's a sense of familiarity, there's a beautiful sense of coming together that you'll both be very happy. I don't see this situation where you get together and it's just like, you know, um, it's just working. This is a situation that's going to require work. Now, it is a beautiful twin flame connection, but the misconception that we sometimes have about this whole twin flame connection is like, I see you, you see me. 
Oh, it's not always like that. Okay, it's work and a lot of both of you needed to be prepared quite a lot for this and you are in the process of releasing your person is in the process of releasing you are both sort of in the beginning of a new start um, and funny enough both of you are on that space where you kind of go like if I've got to be single I got to be single you know so you actually both um, doing the not throwing caution to the wind you are um, in the surrender space where you allow the magic to actually flow through. Okay. Clarifying the nine of wands, you've got a seven of cups, the two of wands and the ace of cups. So there appears to be something that needs to be healed on both your sides. It's trust really for both of you and the way that it's healing is by actually fully emerging in this relationship. You'll see that if you look at the September 2020 reading I did for you, I kind of touched on this. We spoke a lot about this on your love reading for this weekend past. There, there's, a, there's a bit of a trust issue here. And it's by fully immersing yourself in the relationship and having no backup plans that in fact things are moving forward. Let's clarify the Four of Cups for you. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. A lot of you have got some kinds. A lot of you are feeling like, you know, again, it's, it's very um, flowing with the Gemini reading that I did. Um, but there's a sense of you're not ungrateful, but things are not exactly the way you like them to be. Finances, offers, money. There's a lot of beautiful um, realignment taking place here. Your friendship circles are changing. It doesn't really mean that you're letting go of the previous ones, but there's a sense of peace, there's a sense of calm, there's a sense of belonging that's coming into your life, Cancer. Okay. Then we're going to finish off with a crystal oracle card and an angel oracle card for you. Remember, if you're interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, you can check my link down below. You can subscribe to my newsletter to know what's happening. Subscribe to the channel. There's a weekly reading coming out for you if you'd like to do that. This card went flying. Yay, beautiful. And also, if you're interested in having graphic design work done, um, social media management, then you can contact my beautiful friend, H, um, AC Digital Marketing Solutions, directly. She does all my beautiful graphic design which you can see is beautiful um, and all the other things that you know that I'm not really all that good at so you can contact her directly so crystal angel or crystal energy for you at the moment just confirming really emotional healing and that is some smoky quartz over there which is all about releasing that which doesn't serve you in a positive way and their determination to move forward, the angels are with you. The angel of determination is supporting your cancer every single step of the way. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time, energy, love and light. I wish you all the best with your, with every part of your life, really. You know, feel more than welcome to leave me a comment. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye, cancer.